Hiya friends! We are back with a new game. Another game that I am fashionably late to. Firewatch. Firewatch came out in 2016. I... I want to say that I've heard of this game. But I have never played it. I don't remember seeing it, but you know what? I maybe have. So we're just going to start a new game. Um, I don't really know anything about it. I feel like maybe I should just tease down that uh, master volume. I feel like things are going to jump out and scare me. I guess I don't have to be too much of a chicken. Okay, right? All right. What's the special features? Hang on. Audio tour. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think I want that. Okay, let's do a new game. Shall we? Let's start with number one. I don't know why we would start with the third one. I really don't know what to expect. I haven't seen a playthrough of this. I kind of have an idea of maybe what it's about, but I have no idea. What do you mean Panic Ink? That doesn't... I don't know that I like that. <laughs> Boulder, Colorado. Oh, 75. Okay, I was a year old. Oh, shoot. I maybe shouldn't have said that out loud. You see Julia? I do? I don't see Julia. Am I supposed... Am I Julia? Why am I confused? Oh. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed pro professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry, oh, I'm Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. I want you, you know, major. You're pretty. <laughs> You're pretty, she says coolly. You are not. You're a future hangover. You are a future hangover. <laughs> what? You're flag confused? Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter, and one week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Oh, Julia, thank you. Thank you for picking me. Okay, so we're in an elevator. I hate that. Uh, do I want to pick that up? Okay. Where do I want to go? Are we... Oh, shoot. Okay, I'm guessing we're not still at the bar because I shouldn't be driving. But we're a week later. It's a week later? Okay, first should I touch stuff? If I can interact, things would light up, right? Okay. Load gear, for sure. Are we leaving? And where are we going? You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about everywhere. Okay, I, I feel like maybe that's a problem then. <laughs> Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy undersized beagle. Oh, Julia's in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. Um, you pick the beagle and she names him Bucket. You adopt the sh We can't have both? Mwah. I choose the beagle. Bucket's a good dog and a week later you've totally forgotten about the other one. <laughs> Julia loves him. You love him, too. Did we get to see Bucket? Okay, 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer. You're drinking beer. Just kidding. I mean, probably. 9.30 p.m. And the heat still radiates off of the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids? They're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple little idiots... That would be good. Uh, do we want children? Man, 
they cost a lot of money. Let's, why rush, you know? She looks away out towards the mountain. We have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, mister. Don't worry, you are just a young gal. You tell her she has the body of an undergrad. I don't even know what that means. My ovaries didn't get the memo, she says, laughing it off. One day, what kind of game is this? Uh, we're five minutes in and it's, it's just, uh, I feel like I'm reading my Kindle. <laughs> okay, one day, she says, six months later, you get engaged, laying in bed on a Sunday morning, drinking beer, probably. Did we get to see her finally? Whew. Whoa. Okay, so here's our car. We, where's our backpack? Someone stole the backpack. Oh, dear. Okay, let's... What are... Okay, we can't touch anything? Are we just supposed to walk? Thoroughfare Trailhead, is that what we're doing? Or are we going this way? I feel like we should probably stay on the trail. <gasps> Ooh, look at... Oh, the fire danger is high. That does not look like Smokey the Bear. I guess it... I guess they can't do that though, huh? Okay, high fire. Um, we don't have our backpack. I feel like that's, do we have it in the, we can't get in there? Is our backpack in there? Oh, darn it, okay. I mean, I guess we're supposed to be walking. I can't touch anything or do anything. Let's just go for a, a little hike. Where's Bucket? Where's Julia? Oh, I have so many questions. So many questions. Oh, now we're at 1980. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Why? Why would you do that? Um, we're, we'll get mad, I guess. You call her an inconsiderate. No, I would never. I would never call my partner an arsehole. You tell... Oh, wow. Okay, this is not a kid-friendly game, by the way. Uh, don't be a baby. You call her selfish. This is not turning out well. She knows you mean it, and it hurts her feelings. We maybe should have just ignored her. Next time. Next time. Okay. We're still together. That's interesting. <laughs> Julia still likes to draw. Oh, I didn't know she did. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You pose and flex like He-Man. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret. Okay, this is hard for me because like, um, I'm not a man, I guess. So I'm gonna say that I'm gonna frolic like a model. Julia was right, you are very pretty. I'm so pretty, thank you, Julia. Oh, what? Okay. If this ends with a body, I'm gonna be so upset. Can I just tell you that right now? <sighs> Is Julia missing? Is that what's happening? Where's Bucket? Bucket better be okay too. I don't necessarily, is that a fire we're going towards or is that just sunset? Why do I have so many questions? <sighs> okay, we'll just keep walking. This is not, um, two, okay, Two Forks Lookout Tower. Eight more miles. Oh, is that where we're going? Holy moly. Yeah, I'm not necessarily good sidebar to climb over. What does sidebar mean? Oh, oh, sidebar. Boozy, that says space bar, you dingbat. <laughs> okay. 82. We are just traveling along here. During the summer, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. Yes, yes, we do. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Bucket get... No! She gets flustered and has trouble speaking. Oh, no, 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 no. You confront the attacker? Uh, no. No, we do not. You... <laughs> You know, we're just going to scare him away. How about that? You reach in your pocket. 
Like you've got a gun and threaten you. Goodness. Okay. The reviews on this didn't talk about like the trauma happening with this game. He runs away. I didn't know I was gonna have to like put a warning, like a trigger warning. Julia asked to take a different path from that day forward. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way with either. From then on, you walk by the river. Hold on, Bucket's okay though, right? Plans to have kids, get waylaid by work. Who needs them? Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Woo, it's in oh, <laughs> Connecticut. Fair point, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Uh, convince her not to take the job. I agree if she... <sighs> I would never tell her not to take the job if she commutes. Wow. Those are both kind of crap choices. I don't think that would have been my choice. You ask her if she'd commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do, do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if that's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Okay, 85. Julie is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important in her... For borrowing books that were important to her research? Okay. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him two days prior don't uh-uh no I I feel like I know where this is going and I do not approve she was found crying in the stairwell you say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it you make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it no there's an issue let's talk to someone for goodness sakes after seeing multiple doctors and having many tests they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia she is 41. We both decide to keep it a secret for now. Okay. How are the reviews for this overwhelmingly positive? Are we doing this hike because she died and like we're spreading ashes? You guys, I mean, tell me now. I'm not even kidding. This isn't funny. <sighs> Interesting. Okay. I mean, I guess if I was a man, I would probably look pretty close to that. <laughs> Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. Okay, we're at 87. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and it has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children like little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. Whew. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't like I don't like where this is going. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. Ugh. 1988. Actually, 1988 was a good year for me. I don't know about these guys. <clears throat> you spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility. You are determined to take care of her by yourself. Honestly, if a facility could take care of her better, I think that would be the choice. You want her to get the best care. Yeah. I don't know that I like this game anymore. Not even a game. It's just a sad, sad story. Bucket, where are you? Because don't think I don't notice that not only is Julia not with me, but Bucket is not with me either. 
I'm just a sad, sad, overweight, middle-aged man walking through the forest. Her family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day, then every other day. Ah, I already forgot what my name is, but good God, man, do better. You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in the home like, oh, Henry, Henry did, I will cut your balls. You slowly decide to not see your old friends that much. I mean, that would be a hard choice, you know, because obviously you'd want to take care of her, but then you would also know that nurses would be better suited to do so. I mean, that's, you can't really win in that situation. So, you know what? Henry, Henry's doing the best he can, okay? Okay, 89, Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. Of course, you're a man. You've always really liked Susan. Oh, stop it. Henry? No. No! <laughs> Y'all. Let's go buy him bucket dies. Blah. Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less, and seeing her less and less makes her forget you more, you, th you think. Summer is coming, and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. The end. Enter the lookout tower. Is that a command? Or is it... I'm guessing that it's telling me what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> this is my summer job. Wait. S uh, space bar. <laughs> Sidebar. Ay ay ay. I feel more like Julia in this story than Henry, I'll be honest. <laughs> But I guarantee, <clears throat> excuse me, Julia's not mad at him because Julia only knows him part of the time. Okay, let's let's just take a look around here first. Ooh, that is beautiful. But I think we all know where this is going, don't we? Turn on the power. I mean, I'm glad it's telling me what to do. Yay, okay. Hello, Two Forks Tower. Hello? Hi. Two Forks Tower, this is Thoroughfare Tower. Come in. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh. Let's see, hold left shift to activate radio. Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? <laughs> that's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... What, sleep? Forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. That's what's... Uh, yeah, probably okay. that one. Uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill again. Very good. Bravo, Henry. Okay, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. 
I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. Are you kidding me? It took that long just to get to the screen. <laughs> oh dear. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Answer the radio call. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? It Ooh. is 4.30. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, 6? 6? 6.45. Okay, Oops. that clock is wrong then. <laughs> Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Seriously? Out your west-facing window, are you seeing what I'm seeing? Do I know, uh, what- Are those fucking fireworks? Do I know which direction that is? And to use compass. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Where am I supposed to see them from? Do I need to go outside? Seriously, are you seeing this? You know what, gal? I can't even get out of my own place. Henry! I'm Oh, yes, yes, yes. I do see it. Thank you. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. What? The closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, do you let's think you uh... can handle that? Do I write him a ticket? Easy there, Dirty Harry. Well? Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually bad for and all of them. Catchbox 306. Okay. Do I know even what that is? Um. Okay. Okie doke. Uh. Are we falling? What's happening? <laughs> we just tumble down. Alright, so the boxes they were talking about with the rope in it. Oh, hey, there's our outhouse. Um, I am not, okay, I wanna go actually the whole other way. Find rope in NFS cash box. What does NFS mean? National Forest Service, right? Oh, do we need the map? Yes. And we want to a zoom. Uh, let's see. That is not okay. Here we go. Oh shoot. That's where we're at, and we need to get to. So we want to go north by northwest. Okay. Uh, we can do that. If whoops. If I don't push the wrong buttons. It looked like there was a trail or a road. Here we go. Uh, whoopsie doodle. Oh, 
we are not on the trail. That's cool. That's cool. Um, oh, here we go. It's always good to stay on the trail. Are we on the trail now? Yes. Yes, we are. And we are still headed the cr Holy moly. I could stop with the hitting the wrong thing. That'd be great. Okay, so I'm curious about that whole backstory. Um, I mean, I know we all love a good backstory, but good God, why did it have to be so depressing, you know? Um, need to make sure I'm still on the right track. Yes. What was the point of that? I mean, I'm assuming it's going to factor in. Oh, Henry, you can do it. Okay. Oh, I can hear the fireworks now. Two forks. Jonesy Lake. Is this our box over here that we need? Supply cash. I found the supply box. Great. Uh, okay. I'm pretty sure it was one, two, three, four. Boop. Okay, let's look at the map, shall we? Whoa. Whoa. So, let's see. Ron, hey man. Guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked. Hiking into the park, but let's... Alrighty. Alright, Dave. Um, okay. So, this is where we are at. I'm guessing... The fireworks look like look like they were headed west, so maybe at that Jonesy Lake. Let's we we need. I tracked down that rope. It was right where you said. Great. So you should be set to get down to the lake. Take it. Deal with whoever is setting fireworks. Okay. Let's yeah. Let's close it. Should we um, lock it back up? Perhaps. Where's the lock? Did we drop it? Did we lose it? Oh no. Okay. Let's uh... We want to be heading west. Get back on the trail. Um, is it this way? Or is it that way? This way, that way. Let's check it. I'm horrible with direction. This is like not the best place for me to be. Do we still see the fireworks? No, we don't because we're in a bunch of trees. <laughs> and I think I want to go this way. Um, oh, shoot. Am I already going to mess us up? That would be a big yes. Okay, I could, well, I could still head west. Oh my gosh. If I don't keep hitting that... R to toggle jogging. Oh, thank you for that. Oh, shoot. But I cannot function when I'm jogging. <laughs> um, are we even still on a path? Um. I hear it, but I don't see them anymore. We could be going just the whole wrong way and we're not even on a trail anymore that's interesting that's super interesting I like we're be between trails how's that possible we're just gonna we're just gonna cut across and hope for the best okay, I do hear them uh oh wow okay yeah What's happening over here? Yeah, 
Can't I hear them? I don't see them. Okay, and maybe we can move faster now. Oh, whoa, is that... Oh, to get down, okay. We are actually going the right way then, that's good to know. Shale slide, it's steep, okay. Oh, whoa, okay. We're gonna repel, because it's what we do. Um, how? Whoa! How do we do it, huh? Nope. Down, down we go. Okay, that's just a very awkward angle. No, no, Holy no. hell. <coughs> and I'm dead. Oh, my back. Oh, my back. Ugh. Yeah, let's report the climbing accident. How do we do that? Where's my little... Where's my, uh... Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? I'm dead, no, actually. I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're so helpful. Do I even know where I'm going? Uh, I, I guess I'm just going towards the lake is what's happening. Are we going to run? I feel like that's not uh, another. We have to go down another thing? No. That's going back up. Shoot. What am I even trying to do? I'm just gonna, I'm gonna follow this, I guess. Deal with who, I'm trying. I, I think I'm headed to a campground. But goodness knows I'm not great at directions, so I'm probably not even, We are off-roading, for sure. Okay, let's, uh, oh, because we're not even headed west anymore. Um, we're going to go down this hill, see what happens. How do I report the meadow with my... It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. What have we got over here? Oh, oh, beer cans. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. Okay. Whoops. Okay, so we can... Are we picking him up? You know what? Fuck it. I'm not the maid. <laughs> you know what? What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. What? You don't like a cold muskwa light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Probably don't need this in my life right now. Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Ugh. Well... Confiscate them. Yeah, there are fireworks. Um, let's see. Oh, okay. Um, let's see here. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people 
Well, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Why am I scared right now? <laughs> I... Okay, let's... Keep going, I guess. Oh dear. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Okay, you know, um... I think I am gonna stop here <laughs> and review the game of thus far. <laughs> so here we go. Let's talk about Firewatch. <laughs> Alright, so using the scale we used for the other fashionably late videos, let's start with Cozy. Is this a Cozy game? <laughs> Kind of. Okay. I actually went back and forth with this. It didn't seem cozy at first. Okay. Because it, it's super sad. There should have been a trigger warning. But then as we're getting into it, I could see how it was kind of relaxing walking through the woods, walking to the lake. I could see how that would be considered cozy. So I gave it the kind of. But I think it was probably more between not at all and kind of. <laughs> but I did not allow myself a space for that. Is it a farming game? Not at all. No farming involved that I know of. Obviously, I didn't play the whole game, and I don't know that I will. We'll see. We'll, we'll see what happens. Is it an adventure game? Absolutely, it's an adventure game. I, I think that's maybe what it should have been touted as. I, I literally looked up cozy games in the last 10 years and this popped up <laughs> what? I would I would categorize this as adventure is it survival I put not at all I I don't know what happens further in the game I don't know if things are gonna come after you I don't know if you can get caught up in the fire the, the only thing that almost pushed me to kind of is like my map skills, <laughs> like surviving, trying to get back to places using a map would be a maybe of a, a kind of, but again, this would fall between kind of a not at all and kind of situation, uh, but I went ahead and put it for a not at all, in my opinion. Is it story driven? 100% it is story driven. Absolutely. This is, okay, there's another category for it. Story driven, a story driven game, an adventure game. Absolutely. If that's what you're looking for, this 100% fits the bill. Is it family friendly? No. No, it is not. It is for a mature audience. A mature language, mature themes. I have a, a teenager. I, you know, I don't know that I would recommend this to him. Yeah, yeah you know, I don't know. <laughs> Will, would I play it again? I put middle of the road there. I don't know. I think my apprehension is that I went in thinking it was going to be some kind of a cozy game. I didn't know it was a story driven game. So I, I might go back in just to see how the story unfolds. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. My favorite part of this game. Well, it's beautiful. The scenery is beautiful. Being out in nature the walk and everything it was very nice it I really like the art style I could see how that could be calming walking through the paths and whatnot so that would be my favorite part my least favorite part the freaking storyline man out the gate we have a, a, a fiance or did they get engaged and married anywho with dementia and then the dog dies I mean <sighs> No, thank you. Just, just no. So my overall rating for this game, I give it a 3.5. I know that seems really low. and I know a lot of you probably love this game. But again, I think it was going in. I had searched cozy games and this popped up and it is not a cozy game in my opinion. So I was really disappointed in that, you know, in that aspect. But who knows? 
maybe I, I'll, I'll play it through and maybe I'll change that rating when like my perception shifts when I go into it knowing that it's an adventure game that is a story driven game that rating maybe would have been higher had that been my my outlook on the game to start with and it was not I was hoping for a cozy game I was promised a cozy game and it was not a cozy game <laughs> so there you have it firewatch how many of you have played how many of you are going to play and what other games would you like me to review let me know and I will see y'all next time. Bye.